I am disappointed to say that this administration has reneged, just like the Barrow administration did. This administration was voted in on a platform of good governance, transparency and accountability. What we have seen is more non-transparent uh, procurement of contracts. What we've seen is nepotism and cronyism doubling. Doubling. Do you have any specifics of that? I think uh, if you're asking me for the specifics, then something the must be fundamental. Oh, spe specific. Well, if you look at all the statutory boards, look at all the statutory boards, and you will see the sons, daughters, um, cousins, uh, brothers of politicians there. You look at all the statutory bodies. I was recently informed that when you look at the Belize Airport Authority, I understand the daughter of, of the Prime Minister's executive assistant, Mrs. Garcia, is there running that. I understand she has no qualification to be heading the Belize Airport Authority. What is wrong with these people when we have qualified Belizeans out here that have been displaced by COVID-19 who don't have a job? Her mother have a job. Her father has a job. Her husband is the CEO in the, in, in, in the free zone. And she has to be placed without the requisite qualification to run the Belize Airport Authority. This nonsense has to stop. This is the equivalent of putting a Barrow with no experience at BTL. And if you look, as I said, at all the statutory bodies, look at what's happening at Social Security. The Belizean people need to pay attention because I can tell you, most of you went to school with a lot of these people whose names are flying around. And one of the things, when you see their names, you have to shake your head because you know they were not the brightest in school. They were not. And I'm not saying I was the brightest, but I can say I can stand toe to do with 90% of them any day.